on the red carpet for Kevin Hart's new stand-up film opening July 3rd, and we're going to let him explain. So I see that in this for this film you have your own production company that mm -hmm. produced this. Should yes. Tyler Perry watch out? Um, you know, I won't say he should watch out. <laughs> I would say Tyler Perry is a uh, is a person who's definitely giving me advice and mm -hmm. you know somewhat of a mentor who's told me what to do in the business to kind of become a mogul so all I'm doing is following a brand that's been successful and trying to do the same things in my own right. Well you know also I've never seen a stand-up comedian pimp out their stage like you do. <laughs> what gave you the idea? Uh, just having a bigger production you know when you're doing arenas and you have people that are paying this type of money to basically come and see you on a stage, the best thing to do is put them in a position where they feel like they're getting their money's worth. So I wanted to give a production. I wanted to make it bigger than just a microphone and a comic walking out on stage. Hence the fire, hence the lights, the lasers, <laughs> everything. That's what I wanted to go for. You know, you go to a lot of countries in this movie. Mm -hmm. uh, which one was the biggest mm -hmm. culture shock? Uh, biggest culture shock? Um, I don't think there was a culture shock. I think as far as having a following, when I was in Norway and Oslo, uh, Amsterdam, you know, Sweden, just the fact that I had fans in all those different places That's great. that were coming out to support me on that level was kind of huge. So. Wow. And, you know, Tim's story, he directed you in Think Like a Man, mm -hmm. he co-directed this documentary, mm -hmm. and he's doing Ride Along, where you're yes. opposite John Leguizamo and Ice Cube. Yes. Why do, you got, why do you think you guys are such a great team? Um, well, because he gets me and I get him. You yeah. know, uh, it's very easy to work with people who understand you, uh, and we have the same goal at hand, and our goal is to make great projects, and thus far we have. You know, um, Ride Along is great, uh, Think Like a Man is great. Think Like a Man 2 is what we're currently filming now, actually, as we're speaking, but all of these things are good projects. And Tim's story behind them, along with myself and Will Pack, who's a producer, we we have a voice now. We have a dynamic that we've actually created that can continue to go on for some time, oh, perfect. as long as we don't mess it up. Perfect. Last question. You have a small part, and this is the end. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people might not know this, but Judd Apatow discovered you as well. Yes, he did. Right? Yes, he Do you did. think you're going to join his comedy clique or stay a free agent? Uh, well, you know, I mean, we've always been a part of each other's world and each other's clique. Uh, and we all actually go on to do our entrepreneurial things. The good thing about doing that is that you can always come and go. You're still accepted. We still accept the fact that we all are talents and we all get last and we all do what we do in our own right. And when we come together, it's special. That's why this is the end. is so good. That's great. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you.